Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D Artcore uh, tutorial. So, um, I thought maybe uh, create something new this time. So, basically, um, uh, I will teach you how I did the last uh, creation I made, uh, I posted on my fan page. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I turn it to be my uh, background um, picture, so it looks pretty nice, I think. And we are going to uh, learn how to create something that is uh, almost like this, or maybe more like uh, the three D title I make for my uh, channel. This three D artcore title. Um, the overall idea is pretty much easy because um, most of the things um, I've used in order to create this scene is uh, already posted in a few other tutorials but I just want to combine them all into one piece uh, so um, this is uh, mostly the basic basic point of all of this so let's start um, let's open Maya which is already opened on that scene and you can see what I've done here it's just um, basic 3D text with uh, dielectric material applied to it uh, also um, there are a few several of wires, cables, cores, whatever um, I plugged into them and you can see that um, their tails are actually not connected to nothing, it's just so uh, it will cover this uh, area here so when I talk the shoot, the, take the shot, it's like you can't see the tails so I try to make them a little bit longer than it uh, <coughs> should be or whatever so <coughs> let's start um, let's create a new scene, find a new scene don't save and as for start we will start by modeling the cable uh, part and what we need to do is actually go over polygons create just a basic poly cylinder and you really, you really need to um, think of how do you want it to look like so what I will do I will hold on shift right click on my mouse, insert the edge loop I'll insert edge loop one here, one over here maybe one over in the middle and the um, over here I will catch one of those edges okay so edges hold down control right click edge to ring and edge to ring utilities to edge ring and split it will split this now you can go over this edge here do the same this edge over here do the same and we are con concentrating on only the half uppercut of this cylinder so you will see in a moment what I'm trying to achieve here uh, okay so these are those pieces now I will select this face shift double click on this face it will loop the selection unselect this select this double click on this it will loop the other and always I'm trying to um, miss one selection from here just in order to <coughs> avoid um, things like that now if I wouldn't uh, unselect this face this is what will happen you see it will select it like this so um, but we don't need this we can also use the side view and select them all like this and hold down control and mark the area that you don't want to be selected now from here what you need to do is uh, maybe actually <coughs> remove a um, few of those uh, so let's start all over again ok 
okay sorry and we will extrude once just make sure the extrude is set to one division okay extrude and hold down don't do anything here just switch to the scale tool and scale them like so so that way you will get something that looks like this now um, we want to <coughs> tap on F8 and now we will add some extra edge loop so insert uh, hold down the shift right click your mouse and choose insert edge loop by the way make sure it's in object mode and just we are going to add some more edge loops uh, supporting edge loops at any of those corners so here 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 <clears throat> okay, we need to just maybe get a little closer. Okay, so for each corner edge, um, we actually adding two supporting edge loops from both sides, and then it will help us when we would like to smooth uh, <clears throat> to apply the previous smooth for uh, this object. So this is how it's done. Uh, this one here and um, the point of this is actually to trying to smooth just a bit the corners and not making them uh, um, very smoother because if you don't have those supporting edges um, all those corners uh, when we apply the smooth preview uh, will look very rounded so I'm heading those edge loops just so uh, those corners will look a little bit smooth not that much and you will see what what it give us okay so tap on F8 to bring it back to object mode now I will tap on 3 on my keyboard so it will smooth it and now you can see this is how it looks when it's smooth uh, while using the three uh, key on your keyboard. So this is what I was trying to do, and so it looks like a part of an in car engine. Okay, never mind. Step on F8, undo whatever I just did right now. F8, object mode, and back to tap on one just to bring it back to the look uh, less smoother <laughs> and <clears throat> what I'm going to do here I will choose um, those faces here so um, no you know what tap on F8 we will right click choose this vertice point edit mash chamfer vertex so this is what will it will do and <clears throat> now you can choose this face and with your move tool bring it up like so so it will look like this now we can add extra edge loops so she hold down shift right click and one edge loop over here another edge loop over here and choose face and you know what object mode and let's see how it looks on the preview so that's fine um, again we'll catch all those vertices we have the move tool bring them over here like so and maybe just maybe I will catch this face over here extrude it up and extrude it once inside like so and tap on F8 now we will add some extra edge loops so one here one here one here and one here so now let's see what we got three 
okay that's that's okay um, it's not perfect it's big but that's good for whatever we are trying to do and now we will go over create um, text and click on this cube over here you can type here on the text um, bar whatever you like and make sure you choose Bevel also click on this little arrow here and choose Ariel okay it should be one of the first and yeah Ariel choose bold italic if you like or any other size for it and choose OK and then uh, make sure at start and at end both ticked uh, make sure the bevel width, width is not much okay so in my case it's uh, 0 0.0117 bevel the path is set to 0 0.1 thousand and 0 0.2 thousand and 500 so <clears throat> at start at end and create so this is how it looks like now thing is to adjust the scale of this thing to the letter size or maybe tinier so just scale it and now we will start uh, maybe uh, maybe even more small smaller and we will start just attach them to the title now um, maybe this time I will make them tinier so like this and see I'm placing it over the here now um, I will rotate it like so and maybe prefer to put this plug over here like so and I will duplicate it control D or uh, option D for Mac and I will create another one and place it somewhere on the letter D and that's okay maybe just a rotation du duplicate it again put it somewhere over the A try to randomize your uh, position for those plugs um, duplicate it and this one is a bit tricky but maybe I will put it uh, here this time Ctrl D Ctrl Z okay so um, you get the idea right <clears throat> just try to make one for each letters letter and if you have something like I the letter I make sure that this letter is you put two plugs one for the dot here and one for here and basically um, this is how it's this is how we start uh, creating this now <clears throat> now we will uh, need to uh, work with our four view uh, display okay so this is the icon for it and if you can reach it um, if you can't reach it um, so um, just uh, well I'm not sure it should be this icon and don't know really other uh, different way to uh, make it um, so it will appear so basically you can try tap on your spacebar and it will it should be appear but if not just look for this icon here for view and maybe here let's see for view no oh. okay whatever so for view and here let me switch it back to perspective now um, 
thing is, um, now we are going to create the scene uh, background. So we need to, uh, the work will, from here and now on, uh, the rest of the <coughs> process will be on, uh, by using a CV Groove tool. Okay, so um, we will go over create, uh, create CV Groove tool, okay? Click on it, and your uh, mouse uh, sign cursor will look like uh, like a curse, curse. Okay, so we will switch to four view, and from the top view, put your mouse over here and tap on spacebar, so it will expand this work area from the top view, and we will start drawing um, a line from here over here so you only put your mouse and click once where, wherever you want this is the next point and now tap on spacebar and put your mouse cursor over the front view okay tape spacebar again and look for your dots this is the CV crew dot uh, dots and now we will start uh, drawing uh, this line uh, to the up direction okay so this is how it goes we continue with the same uh, line now I will switch back again to top view and I will start moving this line over um, there okay so tap on enter when you finished um, and tap on spacebar and put your mouse cursor over the perspective view and the spacebar and this is what actually you should get now the point of creating this line is actually mostly uh, the all overall point of creating those wires and if you want uh, learn how to um, draw lines as you wish uh, using the four view so actually this whole tutorial is basically very um, waste of time for you okay so uh, I'm going to catch this CV curve control D for Windows user to duplicate it, option key and D for Mac user. And now, now I'm putting the other duplicated uh, CV curve over the other side of the title, and now I will select both of them, go over polygons, surfaces, surfaces over here, and loft. Okay, so this is what it will create for us. Now we have a plan from uh, that we created from both of those uh, CV crew. So um, now you can uh, catch this, select this uh, plane and stretch it. Uh, only if you like. You don't must do this. Depends on your um, on your shot where you want to take it from like if you want to take the shot from here so you see uh, I need to do some extra extra manipulation for this so what I will do I will uh, right click on the display and control vertices catch those vertices and stretch this thing over here and now I will catch from the side those vertices lines okay you see only the these but make sure they are all selected like from this line and on okay and we will stretch it up so we won't see the background of the sky I suppose okay so you see if I'm taking the shot from here 
there's no reason to also uh, take some pieces of our background here. Great. So now, um, now it's for the hard part. Now we are st we are going to start with the plug of the this three number. Okay, but first I want to place my uh, my planner here, so it will um, be just in the same line that those letters are. Now the three is a little bit uh, lower. I see. You see the letter three is more uh, picking out from the plane. So I need to think of, the, of that when I'm placing my planner. So I may want to use the four view and the front view just to see it better. And modify center pivot for the planner and that way I will know how it's how it is okay that's great now um, the next thing is start creating the cables so here we are changing to four view changing to front view here and we are coming zooming into this plug and going over create CV curve and we are starting to draw our line from the middle of this plug here click once here click one time over outside of the plug and more clicks just like that zoom out so you can see what you're doing or in which, which direction you go and we will start uh, bringing this cable down now we also need to uh, trust uh, our axis you see this black um, this black lines over here those are like the centers uh, of our grid and we we are going to rely on them in order to create um, those cables now I want to you can see that the the lowest part of the planner is this blue line here and above it there is the zero uh, point of our axis so I want to make sure that my cable uh, my CV curve is laying just at the same place where is my uh, zero point of our grid okay so the last point is here now I will tap on enter no sorry don't don't tap enter <laughs> yet uh, switch over the top view and expand it and now tick on this okay this sign over here the magnet with the grid so it means snap to view plans oh no I want to snap to grid so this one snap to grid click on it and um, now we are starting to creating the loop okay under this and let's see what I've done here um, creating the loop now Okay, the grid is a little bit tricky. Don't do this. Don't don't take on this one. Undo this, and just leave it as it is, and start drawing your uh, curve. Now, pay attention that the line started from here, and you can see the letter is here. The number three is like it's like we started to drawing this line behind the letter. Now, you need to take this in mind and like imagine this line starting from here where is the plug okay like starting from here and take in mind that you like already uh, if you will place this uh, curve over here later on this line will come over here okay so we are basically at this point we are actually somewhere here 
here in this area so just take this in mind don't forget about it okay so um, now I'm creating the loops of my cab cable and here where it's supposed to cross each other um, I will create one here one on top of this wire and one just uh, after it so those three points will help us to create the uh, over uh, <clears throat> you know so uh, this way they won't overlapping th themselves but still they will be on top of each other or something and we continuing on drawing this and you can do very extreme cable don't worry about it just follow the same rules you can see um, now this is basically it I will just try to bring it somewhere out of the view so when I take the shoot uh, I will have uh, some you know, cable running through the scene so it doesn't look uh, like the cable is ended somewhere in the middle okay so now after we uh, hit enter to close this screw line and you see it's turned into green he, uh, hit on, tap on your spacebar and what we need to do right now is actually uh, from the perspective view <clears throat> to adjust it so we will put it just in the middle of our plug you see the line is entering to the plug just like we started drawing it and maybe a little bit like this we need to make sure that the line doesn't go anywhere else okay and <clears throat> just for making it a bit real uh, right click on the this curve uh, choose control vertices and we need to pick the right uh, curve just to bring this cable over the lower one okay so <clears throat> yeah that's okay and you just need to try to imagine the thickness of this wire and you can get like a clue of the thickness of it just by looking <coughs> the the tail of our plug okay actually the face this middle face here so this is will be the thickness see the center face of our plug here that will be the thickness of our cable so you need to consider it uh, when you bring those line up or down just so it will fit great tap on F8 to bring it back to object mode now what we need to do is uh, first open the outliner and I want to show you something uh, before we continue this is the outliner and the outliner is uh, actually right now is uh, showing us that we selected curve number three and also we have those poly cylinder poly surfaces now um, the thing is to take this CV curve okay sorry take this plug right click on it choose face choose only this face in the middle here shift select the CV curve okay go over uh, polygons here go over edit mesh where it says extrude click on this little box here and we want to put something like 200 or 100 uh, divisions 100 is the limit I think uh, I don't think we can have more than 150 maybe yeah 100 so so after you type in 100 click extrude and it will create your cable 
and uh, the only thing that important right now is to see that um, we started to drawing the line from inside the plug somewhere here and the next point was outside the plug and this is how it must have been done okay because otherwise we have some we will have some hard effects here uh, some like overlapping faces and you don't want to get this so after this we need to fix one more issue just if it's needing uh, a fix you see those two cable cables are overlapping each other and that's not good so what we are going to do is tap on F8 to bring this polygon to object mode and you can see now that both that cylinder here poly cylinder 1 and the curve 3 are being both uh, selected okay this is because both of them are actually selected and what we want to do is select only the poly cylinder that marked okay and control age to hide it then we will go over the curve you can catch it from here grab it select it or from here the curve 3 as long as you know that this is the one now you will go over right click control vertices and we will try to bring those two points upper like so and then tap on F8 to bring it back to object mode once or twice go over the poly cylinder 1 which we hide it shift H to bring it back and you can see the differences that we have so it still need a fix so what we are going to do is hide it again control H go back to the curve number 3 right click choose control vertices choose those two vertices sorry not these two um, need to be to be very careful when you're doing this okay so yeah this one so tap on F8 to bring it back to object mode poly cylinder 1 shift age and you can see that it's almost done uh, we still need to move them a bit to the right so control age curve 3 control vertices bring this point a little bit higher and maybe a little bit over there so and this one I will just bring it a little bit closer and yeah it's tricky but you will need to learn how to do this somewhere in the future just make sure that you don't move any other vertices because those are actually at the same level the other ones okay and this is how we want them to be so let's bring back the wire and you can see that looks better and actually looks great so examine your cable make sure that it's all good uh, you may want to come over the tail area and maybe uh, let's unsmooth it by tapping on one on our keyboard number one key and you can catch this face over here and apply one extrude to it tap on F8 and now when you will smooth it it will still look like a cable okay you can also take this face and bring it a little bit outside like so okay but it's really on your decision if you like to make it so this is number three now now to do number D and this is where I'm actually uh, finished this um, like teaching you how to do this because you uh, I believe you already understood the basic idea of it. Um, we will go again over uh, the four view. Okay, four view. Go over the front view. We will go over the letter D plug. Create CV curve. And we will do the same over here. So the first point somewhere here. The next point outside start bring it up 
Now you need to make sure that the first point will go to the same direction because if you will uh, make the turn somewhere here like here at this point your cable will look bad so don't do this so now we will um, switch to the top view and we will start drawing our line to the back okay to the back of this letter now again we are ne we need to think that uh, these to make sure that you those like those start start points are actually supposed to be here and we want to bring the line outside so this is why I'm going that far so when I whenever I will bring this curve after closing it here these lines will actually be here okay at the back of this letter so after you done couple of those um, tap on uh, spacebar bring it back to front view expand it and start drawing this to this direction okay now I want you to stop somewhere here I want to create just a better loop here but it will be somewhere here so this point is like if you think that the cable will be around it it will uh, this point okay just another point if the cable will be here it will be it will touch the, the letter here so now I will switch to top view and I will enter start entering here you see like so and this time you need to think that if this is the middle okay you need to take twice um, distance like from hit okay um, like this and this okay so this is like half way and all the way all the way over here back to the front view <clears throat> and here we will start bringing our cable down to the floor now we also need to make sure that our last point is on the grid axis switch to top view and back to top view and here you can start uh, think of how do you want your um, cable to run over the floor so we will put three here and we will <clears throat> create this curve like so and like so and hit enter <clears throat> again we are switching to perspective view and this time you see this is the same problem we had we need to grab our move tool and bring it the start point over the plug okay so now it's in the middle of it but we have some issues but it's not really big of an issue you can very easily <coughs> modify those vertices um, and this is all the point so we control vertices we will grab uh, those vertices from up okay like so so I'm also grabbing those all the way you see all this vertices and I will bring it inside like so but make sure they are not overlapping each other okay the vertices again if you don't want to move those unselect those and keep on bringing it inside now you can modify those so they will start to 
they're way down from about here okay those may be first three and also somewhere here you need to think about that this cable will touch the letter so we don't want this so we will move those vertices over like so so it will be just a bit uh, away from the letter itself here it's okay maybe this one will move over here also those two and let's continue on modifying those see we have a problem here so we need to catch those vertices okay let's see how we are catching them we want to catch only those who are hiding here so we will bring them outside like so and we need to think of the how much the distance between this curve and the letter so the cable will run there smoothly bring them here and we want to grab the middle point that I know is hiding here and to bring it up and this one a bit upper and if you really want to make your life easy make sure that you remember what the height of this vertices vertice point here you can look for it over the channel box and see what the height of it in the y direction I think so um, after we done this I think that there is no other lapping over here and we can extrude it tap on F8 once or twice choose your plug right click on it choose face let's see let's choose the face shift select the curve and now you don't need to set the the extrude um, so just click on extrude so it's already been set to 100 we only need to make sure that our cable is like we want it to look like uh, here it's okay as long as it's really sitting on the letter itself that's that's all the point also here just a little bit of touching but not that really uh, not very hopeful or I don't know and basically it's fine again if you like you can uh, choose this poly choose this face and extrude it so it will look like this and then maybe point it a bit outside with and this is how we created the second wire so you see it looks fine it looks very good for uh, the first uh... okay so now um, what I did about light set setup uh, the first thing is to create a shader for this uh, planner so we go over window rendering editor hyper shade and we are creating a blend material okay here is our blend material and we will open the attribute editor for it just click on it twice and you can minimize it now the next thing is to apply bump map so we are clicking on this checkered box adding a fractal okay and that will uh, we will use this fractal as our bump map the only thing we need to change is the bump the path so insert in point one okay that will be good uh, if you want a little bit more 120 okay and again uh, we will add another um, 
we will add another uh, shader to the our uh, title so this time uh, you can see the bling how it looks by the way with the bump applying to it so we will choose our 3d title and here we will choose from the mental ray materials the electric material by the way it's marked with red um, red sign because uh, we didn't uh, choose mental ray as our render engine that that's okay yeah, we will fix it in a few seconds so just for the dielectric material uh, minimize this window choose whatever color you like green purple blue whatever bluish and green okay and you can change the index, index of reflection to 600 1.600 and we want uh, to create another shader for our cables and what I will do I will open the hyper shade and let's just get rid of those clicking this clear graph and we will use Maya Material X for it and from the attribute editor for it click twice on it by the way if you don't see it choose preset and choose rubber okay rubber replace that will give you this black material here now you don't want it to be that much reflective you don't want it to be that much glossiness to it and basically what you do want is just to make it maybe like so reflectivity I don't need it much okay um, I think this is it for this cable now we will apply those shaders so we will catch these two cables right click on the rubber assign material to selection now we will apply the, the dielectric material to the text and this is basically it for the shaders. Now the next thing is to go over our render setting. First uh, we will switch to mental ray engine and at the common tab we will choose uh, somewhere yeah I will just for the test I will keep it on, keep it on this uh, preset okay so this will be the size of the picture switch to the quality tab here I prefer to put three but you can put two if you if it's just for test also um, we need to uh, go over uh, ray tracing bring the ray tracing all the way up for those reflection refractions and max trace the path also um, <clears throat> I want to uh, add more uh, yeah I want to go over back to the common tab and from the render options expand it and turn off the enable default light default lights light and back to the indirect lighting we will create an image based lighting if you don't know what is it so just make sure you follow my steps um, we create the image based lighting it appears here in the attribute editor click on this folder and I will go to my HDR um, pictures uh, of of those crumbles so um, if you uh, don't know what is it you can go and check um, the um, the HDRI map tutorial that I made and to learn about it just for this we will go over my HDRI photos for Maya here they are these are the HDR files choose one of them and click on final gathering and for the final gathering quality the filter set it to one just for tests 
um, that can slow your render time but I think we need to do this and for the features we need to enable caustics okay and we also uh, need to create a light so let's create light create light and this time we will create point light so create it bring it up so this is the scene we want to put it somewhere here okay that's fine maybe in the middle of our text just in front of it as you see you can make it higher and this is very important the distance from the text because this is how much our text will look like glowing so make sure you play with it okay now the next thing is to go over the attribute editor for our light go over custom shaders and where it says light shader click on this checkered box from the mentor ray we choose mentor ray lights and physical light okay and don't touch it but we will switch back by using this arrow black arrow here no maybe just by selecting it okay and we want to bring down the intensity to point zero zero ten or no maybe zero point zero ten like so and from the mental ray tab we want to take emit photons leave it as it is and also shadows use ray trace shadow shadows and let's try to render this so let's see what we get <clears throat> great so first of all you can see two things this uh, scene is very uh, full of light and I'll show you how to change it in a second the other thing is that uh, the cables are actually not above the planner so we need to bring the planner a little bit down so we will use the front view so we can see it better and maybe I didn't relay on the right line here so let's see we'll render this to see how the cables are um still the cables aren't look we can't see them so we need to bring this planner a little bit more down but I will use the front view again so I won't do this mistake again and just a bit like so maybe maybe I'm starting to understand what was the problem yeah let's see right now I still want to look make sure that it looks like those cables are running on top of the floor and not floating on the floor like this one so it's still not as it's supposed to be bring it up yeah maybe I will zoom in because I can't see nothing from here uh, Still, they're floating on the air, so I will switch to four view. Oh, and I will bring it up from here. 
Yeah, the side view is basically what I need. Like so. Okay, the the plan the planar is not very um, straight here. Okay, it's not a. It's not okay. So what we will do? We will try to modify this pivot here, this line here, so it will get straight and. Maybe then we can look at this and see that it's okay. Again, render this one. No, again, they are hiding. Not sure what I'm doing wrong, but maybe the planner is not very cooperating. So, uh, Let's turn off the grid so we can see what we are doing. Uh, it's starting to be frustrating. So now we see, now we can't see the cable, we see it in just like this. Let's zoom in to see. Okay, whatever, play with it. Um, one issue is this. Um, light here. We need to go back down here where I apply the physical light. Click on this arrow and open the color. From the color I want to reduce the amount of uh, light to black. Okay, so zero. Just type here zero, enter and if you see that it's black that's okay, done. Now we will give it another shot. We'll try to render this. And basically you get the same result just with maybe a little bit more light. So um, what I did to reduce the light, the overall lighting in the scene, was to um, that's weird, I can see the cable here, I'm taking the shot, but still somehow the planner is doing whatever he wants. So, what I w was doing is to add another plan here, rotate it, first let's scale it like so, rotate it in 90 degrees, and is to stretch it like so and like so and just to bring a few of the vertices lines here okay catch them all and try to stretch them over here so it will cover most of the light now if we will take a shot let's try let's try delete this <laughs> and those two curve lines delete Add one more uh, plan so it will fit what we need here and maybe um, catch those vertices and somehow manipulate them so they will look like so and bring this thing over here and you can choose this edge and maybe bevel it so edit mesh bevel so we can offset it and add more segments to it so it will be a bit rounded this is very good when you want to take a shot like this and let's see Okay, so now you can see the the light is much more darkened and our um, 3D text is more uh, is creating more caustics uh, lights to this uh, ground area. So this is how we get our glowing effects here. Um, it's better to, if you will take the shot from here, just want to make sure 
what I've done here about this planner. Maybe I will bring it a bit over here so we will get less lights. And now again, this rounded area is covering uh, our cables and we don't want this. So I will just grab those vertices over here, all those vertices and bring them here maybe a little bit down so they won't okay let's take it again great so you can see the result and this is matching the same photos I took uh, it really depends on your uh, also of your um, the size of your um, text and all the same and you can get better results maybe uh, just as the razor uh, logo I made but this is very the same uh, procedure to in order to create this the only thing you can do right now from here is to change the resolution uh, of your picture and create a better uh, picture from it okay so switch to HD 720 and take a full render of your scene so um, I will pause it in just for a moment maybe no we'll leave it as it is let's see just how it looks if you want you can add more bump to your um, to your planner by the way I erased the the first planner and I didn't apply the same texture to it the bling material so you can't see it here um, but if you like you can edit and that will be great so that's it for now people I hope that um, it wasn't too harsh and that you can uh, follow um, what I just show you and if you enjoy this tutorial click on uh, like subscribe or whatever leave me a comment um, I'm always happy to see comments of um, visitors so that's it for now uh, we'll see you soon in a few other tutorials um, and that's it have a nice day see you